Hey, what's up, guys? It's Vimp here, bringing you guys another video. We're going to be playing the long and awaited game, the Castle Fight. Alright, so, um, this game was actually a recommended game to play. So, I'm going to be playing with some guys that will be helping me as we play, because I am definitely very new to this. Um, uh, there's <clears throat> a couple of, uh, well, this, how this game works pretty much is just, um, you build some towers in the back and they kind of summon you units, um, throughout the game. So it's only one lane you're playing. It's three versus three. Us and these three guys. Uh, us and these two guys. Sorry, should I say. So you have uh, items that you can go on your builder to kind of increase. You also can use rescue to kill every single unit. On the uh, your side, you can only use it once, so you need to watch out and kind of use it appro appropriately, I guess. Um, for me, um, you have a certain races, build certain tires, and uh, you have to make sure to kind of um, build against what other peoples are actually uh, sending. For example, you have to look uh, at certain counters and stuff like that. So, for example, my um, units currently do. S Pierce damage, which is very bad against heavy, so I shouldn't have done that. But it's very good against, for example, light armor and armor, unarmored. So yeah. I'll actually kind of, um, I'll need the, these guys' help because I'm kind of still new to this. So I'll still play. Um, Okay, so do you want me, should I rescue? Normally you should rescue to kind of build back the momentum towards the right side. We'll see. If uh, they call it out, I'll, uh, I'll do it for sure. Seem to be losing quite a bit. Yeah, so they built a lot of momentum. These uh, ice rolls with the um, frost armor helps quite a bit. So he did, okay, he killed 14 units which gives us him quite a bit of gold too so we have a legendary building call of nature summons forest spirits which attacks enemy with 50% chance to stun explodes dealing 250 damage in 350 range cooldown 40 seconds interesting Oh, we do have these griffin rolls. Okay, so we do have a lot of frontline on the bright side. Could kind of rebuild this. Uh, what there? What we could go for another? Oh, we can upgrade these. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Actually, actually, let's uh, get this one last one um, sent, and then we'll upgrade. I'm curious to see what this does. Ah, the great outdoors. Nice keeper of the grove. We got keepers, so that's pretty cool. So I guess these have um, do they have um, not spell shield their um, their ability? Don't they have uh, normally in the RTS kind of part of this game? They have the abolish magic, which could be good against frost nova or frost armor, right? The kind of summon speed is pretty slow. Okay, so a balance magic, exactly what I said. 10% to dispel positive buff from targets on hit. Keeper of the Grove receive 10% less damage from spells, which is very good. Nature's t touch. Oh, wow. This does a lot of damage, but it's very weak. Okay, so I can kind of heal my units and stuff. So what is wood used for here? I know a lot of people wanted me to kind of play this map, 
people do enjoy themselves some castle fights, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. Don't forget, if you do are enjoying the content on the channel, guys, make sure that you're subscribed, because apparently 70% of you guys aren't subscribed that watch my videos. Would uh, greatly appreciate it if you subscribe, then, you know, support the channel. Really shows, helps me out, because it uh, lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos, and pushes me to, you know, do even more. So, enough of self-promotion, let's get on with the game. Might go for another one of these Ancients of Grove. Wait a second, this one? Ooh, it costs quite a bit though. Ancient Keeper. Chaos damage. Wow. Hit points 1k. That's absolutely insane. And regen? Oh, wow. Yeah, these keepers will shred through unarmored things and stuff like that. Yeah, I can heal. Like, these are really, really good. Okay, perfect. So it's 400 gold. I must safeguard the land. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. What is this crystal over here? What kind of hack is he talking about exactly? They need to rescue ASAP or else this... Okay, they did rescue, nice. Wonder where do I get it from? Double damage. Oh, wow. Um Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay, I see, but I don't oh, okay. So I guess I want to spend on these. Okay, I understand. Let's summon this one first before I kind of cancel this because it's gonna it's gonna be a slight a waste. So chaos damage, I'm just so curious to see the amount of damage that this might deal. So he has the staff, launches one magic projectile per second at a random nearby enemy. 60 spell damage. I don't know if it's worth it though. 60 spell damage. Oh, Mortars, that's really, really good. The only problem with this, it's the um, kind of... Ca um, time for it to kind of cast or not cast spawn it takes so long cooldown the mana transprat instant keeper summons five trees no way so he he has like a whole system of freaking frontline no way that's op <laughs> Wow, that's disgusting. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Can get some bears. Yeah, let's get some bears. Just for tanking, because uh, these things are going to be dealing a lot of DPS in the back. I just need pretty much some uh, frontline here. Asian, Asian bears, that's really good.
Why does he complain so much? I understand. So injured keeper. Okay, so he summons trees. I guess that blocks, and then he summons these. Wow, that's so good. This thing does chaos damage. That's amazing. Okay, he's focusing on this keeper, which is understandable. Okay, so... Alright, so we kind of can see what they have built. This Magnetar seems very OP. Okay, so Bloodlust on this bear, that's pretty cool. I must safeguard the land. Okay, so let's wait for the spawn. Cast this guy. Nice. So, a lot of hit points, ability bash, has 30% chance to do, okay, 65 additional damage and stun the target, cleave, 35%, and is in 175 range, critical strike, Jesus Christ, feral strike, has 30% chance to increase the attack speed and gets 30% additional damage of being, on being hitted. What? Okay. So that's kind of a trade-off, goes into deep sleep and hit Fender. If ancient bear HP increases extremely low and boosts its regeneration to 40 HP per second. Wow. After waking up, <laughs> gets additional damage. Nice, 100%. That's pretty crazy. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Good tank up front for our Mr. Ancient Keep Keeper. Uh, it's to all allies within two. Nature's Aura, 15 HP regeneration to all allied units. Within 350 range, which is pretty crazy, should I say? So we have d good DPS, good frontline. This is unarmored, sadly. Tell me this has armor. Unarmored again, really? This I can go with. Uh, we'll kind of see as we go. So these guys are pretty much aiming for uh, my ancient keepers, which is understandable because they're kind of the strongest units. I can't move these, right? No, I can't. Rescue, rip. Oh, he lost that turret. He's gonna say something for sure. Okay, this is a pretty good game. Summoner. Banish. Um... Mountain Giant, oh. Okay, so Mountain Giant, normal DPS, pretty bad. The only good thing is deal a lot of HP and pretty much fortified armor, which is good against any sing every single uh, attack type, except uh, well, pretty much chaos and the siege, right? So they don't have much much of those. So. Ice, qu interesting. So let's go with uh, let's go with these. Where is it? Put it right here. Oh, I can't even, uh, I thought I could, um, upgrade these, but I can't. So grab a tree, we know that we know what that that means. Pulverize, 30% chance to do 200 damage and 175 AOE. Hardest skin receives 25 less damage, making them pretty tanky and resistant skin. So 20% less damage from spells, that's pretty cool. And gets taunt ability, which is very good. Uh, bear Dryad for bulk. Oh, Rejuv. Wait a second, that's really good. Jesus Christ, these are tanky. Wait a second. Look at the HP on the top. It says 1050, and these only have 800. That's a scam. Oh, 
I'll go with these shamans actually. Let's see what if uh, they're any good here. Freaking infernals, that's so OP. Mana burn too. Oh, rejuve increases drastically. Wow. I should get those for sure. Re imagine having rejuve on mountain giants or infernals. Holy mortars are OP. I mean, their front line is getting wrecked, right? Mana burn could be pretty good too. Uh, I think they opted for um, by scroll repair rune. So this oh drums. Oh, he, I guess he has drums, right? Someone left. I guess that was a pretty cool. I guess uh, multiple rounds. Okay. Uh, All right. So I guess we'll we'll do a, another um, round for you guys because this video was way too short. Let's go for another one, guys. All right, here we go. Into round two, guys. We're going to be playing the Night Elf Builder and the Corrupted Builder. This is actually a new kind of game. No time to rest. So, yeah, it's true that we're managing kind of two builders, which is kind of weird. But it's all good. It kind of, uh, we have two rest rescue strikes, which is pretty cool. Which way? Okay, so we got these... Um, Spirit, which are pretty good. Got these Nether. So we got Griffin Riders, Wyverns, Bloodthirst. Okay, interesting. So they have heavy armor, light armor. They have a good uh, combination here. They're still going to be pushing us, so that's kind of bad. Uh, I guess they're going to be focusing on kind of. What do they. Can we be good against them, I guess? Um, hero damage, chaos. Magic and siege. Wait a second. We need we need normal damage, I guess. Yeah, normal damage could be good here. So I guess going for a lot of like um, s smaller tier units could be good. Instead of just going for one really good unit, because if you outmass them at some point, you know, it's hard to keep up. These turtles are so good early game, holy. Glaive Rose, wow. Yeah, these are like catapults at the beginning. Apparently, Spellbreakers hit air, which is a new. Assassin. Our brethren need assistance. Fairy dragon. Our forces are oh, that's not what I want. Better Drake, Fellhound. Frenal machine. More gold is required. Let's go with Fellhound. What needs? Sky Pierce medium hit points. So it increases the attack speed, which is pretty cool. Having one of these is very good. No Guess this siege is going to do a lot of damage against our fortified freaking base. They're so good, it's crazy. Guess getting some of these are pretty good, right? 
Uh, we'll see what we go for next. I think just massing units could be good here. Fairy dragons could be good. Heals 150 feet back. Starfall, that's really cool. Um, next up, we might want to go for Corrupt and, and Voidwalker, Nether Drake. Ooh, Tactical Prism. Okay, so we're starting to build a kind of a good momentum on the, this side, so that's pretty cool. Pretty much gonna kill everything really quickly just because we have that momentum going. Oh, Dragonhawk, interesting. Doesn't do much damage though. So we'll go with an upgrade here. I guess go for this one, right? Alright. So this one has spell reduction, which is very good. Corrosive attack. Reduces the armor by 7 from for 1.5, which is huge. Evade even better. Heal on kill. Wow, that's really good. Like lifesteal. That's pretty cool. I like that. Can I increase uh, our Nether Drakes? Which are oh wow, we're getting we have a lot of gold here. Just I guess for the each kills we get more. Oh, these are very tanky. I'm gonna assume they're gonna rescue eventually, soon enough. There's no time to rest. Avatar. They're pretty squishy. That's the only issue. Go for this in here. Magic damage splash. That's pretty cool. We need some tanks. Okay. This over here could be good. Hit points 1k. Should have waited for this one. Or Siege Infernal Machine. Interesting. And Kubus! They're going to be doing a insane amount of push here. This thing is very powerful. Like, very tanky. I do have quite a bit of wood. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to wait for this one, Starfall. Sounds very OP. Guess I'll do the rescue here. So it's gonna be back and forth rescues. We used one, they used one. So they're gonna be ahead since we're gonna be using the last. Okay. Get this one. Hopefully, this. Okay, so hit points, chaos damage, that's really cool. Hit points, splash. All units in 210 AoE, that's huge. Okay, kinda did it now. Oh, the stun though. So let's see here. Starfall could be good here. Or this. For a land, sir, but your command six armor on all units. Oh, they're still pushing here? That's pretty crazy. 
Oh, these wyverns do no damage. Oof, that's a pretty strong tank. This master archer is very good too. This, this thing does damage, but still. Yeah, warlocks are good. Yeah, if this thing gets focused, that's where pretty much we are in a pretty bad situation. Pretty close to it. Cooldown, servo down, risk around enemy, damage all enemy in the area for 11 seconds. Yeah, feel like oh wow. Okay, I'll kind of wait for this, I guess. Might as well, right? Oh, we're still far. How do I get wood? Oh, it's from building buildings, right? Damn, I forgot about that. Let's go for a glaive thrower, I think. to kind of use this, which kind of sucks. Ah, okay, so I have to spend gold. Infernal machine. Let's go for another one of these, but it's... Quite expensive, but I kind of have to, right? I think it's gonna be good, two of these in Kubus. This guy's helping me out so much, that's amazing. Oh, he went for some of these too, huh? Oh. The splash is insane. Is he mimicking some of my abilities? What, what is this? Oh, we have the stun now? Static stun. Oh, I guess it's from the... Oh, it's this here. That thing is so OP. So their ultimate is pretty much Rain of Fire, right? So I guess one of his things lets us kind of... Oh, that sucks. Let's us kind of do like a double summon, right? It would make sense. That's not what I want. It's this here. What do you mean, additional lumber? Interesting. Guess I'll build this one, no choice. No choice, because I'm losing time if I don't. Assassin, Pierce. Let's go for this. Which way? Upgrade. Assassins. Let's go for more clay throwers here. Wow, how do I have so much gold? Nice, we got the other one. How could I build this? What? Got the starfall now. That was weird. 
Ah, I can't leave my base. Rip. What's the range on this? Is it all the over the map? Oh, yes, it is. That's awesome. Starfall is pretty good. Got that at least. Ballista. I guess go for more of these. I'm getting so many of this. This tower protects key positions. Oh, that could be pretty good. Kubus! More of these, they're so strong, might as well, right? The more we have, the better it is. The amount of things are, that are here is crazy. Ooh, wow. It's kind of neat frontline now, right? That splash is so good. Look at that. Oh my god. So good. It's massive. Let's be honest here. What do I really need else? Okay, we got the assassin here. Uh, we'll kind of figure out what we want after. Buy cheese. Oh wow, we definitely want this eventually, right? For 60 seconds. Starfall is so good, holy. Oh my god, that's OP! <laughs> oh my god, let's have this. I wait, I'm, I'm kind of confused because I used two of these, right? I have the Eye of Corruption and this Starfall Obelisk. So I kind of understand. <laughs> I was confused at first, you know. More in Kubus. Uh, then we'll go with, I guess, more glyphers. What do we need for man? Uh, wood. Oh wow, that's really good. I don't know if I utilized that perfectly, but if it did, good. Oh, we can't even. So what do we get here? More glaive throwers or what? More piercing. Oh, I forgot about the druid. Entangles, that's pretty good. Sure, every single unit, just curious. Oh, he has 5 FPS rip.
trains ranger. Okay, I will rescue. I need to buy cheese. Oh, I bought it with the wrong thing, right? I think I did. It's a pretty feels bad moment, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, what? You know what? That was actually a pretty good round, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, should we do another run? I think... Yeah. I think... You know what? That's... Th I'm gonna call it there because... It was a... It's actually gonna be a 40 minute uh, video. Actually, we could do one more, right? Did someone leave? No. I, okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more, because I'm curious. I'll have it up in no time. You want me to do what? Uh, what do we want? Blood thirster. Let's go for these ones. Yes, I'm already on. Engine's running. Engine's running. These were pretty good on their side. You hate orc? Okay. Let's go. Okay, so kind of have energy shield there. Wow, this one is quite expensive on the wood side. I'll have it up in no time. I'm all geared up. I'm all geared up. I smell magic in the air. Okay, so quite a bit of damage of mana damage. Uh, do, what's their ability? Bouncing attack. Oh wow. Okay, I see. Reduces the army of enemy for by six for thirty seconds. That's insane. Fairy dragon wyvern. I thirst for magic. Get on with it. Yeah. It's gonna get wrecked magic. though. None of these attack air. <laughs> nice. Get so we have do one frontliner currently. Let me do, it. The running. Uh, do we have light tank? Okay, it's because I have flame gunner. Okay, I'll try this one. One thirty-five. Okay, I see. So now we, I have the gold team resources. Okay, now I understand. It took me a while, but I did understand after Jesus. Okay. What's the difference though? Oh, it's over here. It points more, it points more damage. I like that. Let's go for it. So, ground only. It's all units in 15 range behind this target. That's pretty cool. Launches grenade. Okay, okay, I like it. 30 damage and burns 100 mana. Wow. Okay, okay, I like it. What you got? Uh, what do we want? Dragonhawk. Blade Master. How about we uh, build a Blade Master? Okay, that's not the Blade Master I was hoping. <laughs> Rotter of Copter, interesting. Alright, let's go for Fairy Dragon. Got a variance, the grunts. We seem to have like a better overall These elementals are so good. That's the only issue currently. Okay, these are pretty good, so chaos damage, not the best. They attack very fast. I guess that's the uh, pretty solid armor. The only problem, it's kind of, um, what's it called, light. These bloodthirsters are pretty good. Maybe I'll build more of those, right? Lunatic. 
All right, let's go for Goblin, Goblin Shredder. Power plant. You're interrupting my circulation in the air. I smell magic in the air. Sorceress, Sork, Ballista. I think Ballista could be pretty good here. Okay, so they did use the um, their rescue. That's good. Let's go for some archers. Definitely want some Pierce. Oh wait, that was on the wrong builder. Feels bad. I'm all geared up. Okay, let's get this shredder. I need this one. 375, not too far from it. I smell magic in the air. I stand ready. Our forces are under attack. I smell magic in the air. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Nice, we got the uh, better, I guess, DPS in the front. That's really good. I think these uh, spellbreakers could be better better if I get more of them, right? I think they're very good early. Okay, so they're kind of building momentum here. Let's go for more of these, yeah, definitely. Should we get some of this here? I stand ready. I stand ready. I'm gonna go for more spellbreakers. Yeah, they're definitely going to be pushing back here. Oh wow, the shredder is so good. Whoa, what happened to here? <laughs> Pretty tanky though. 193, what should we go for? A light tank? Heavy armor. What do they have? They have a lot of magic now. A bit of ba it's balanced pretty much, but a lot of magic, so I don't think heavy would do the trick here. I think more of these spell breakers could be good here. What do we want here, though? Iron golem, medium armor. Look at this. The more medium you have, the better it is. Pretty much resistant to magic, which they do have a lot. They don't have much normal, so oh, only these. Interesting. I smell magic in the air. Oh wow, these are pretty good. Spawn randomly. Light beam hex. Cool down 10 seconds. It's cost quite a bit though. 10 seconds, that's pretty good actually. Armor Divine? Really? I'm gonna go for this, actually. I'll try this. I'm curious to see. Let's see with this guy. Or is it better to go for maybe... Whenever an allied unit dies, there's division. Uh, yeah, we'll revive after two seconds. Can revive legendary unit. True shot stacks. Well, that's interesting. Base defense aura. Come shredder. You know what? Gotta do it sometimes. Just tanks up front, you know? 
90% spell damage. That's pretty cool. Helicopter things. Which ones are you talking about? Helicopter. Actually, whatever. How do I have so much gold? What? Okay, let's build some. Which the one is the legendary one? That's pretty good. 650 gold. Oh, I need this over here, but I can't get it yet. For some reason. Oh, we need anti-air, that's why. Okay, yeah. this is uh, looking pretty bad here. Do we have heavy, we need magic. Let's go for this one, yes. Legendary one. <coughs> Hectic. I guess I have to rescue again. Which is crazy, they're pretty hard to kill. Let's go for more range, I guess more sorks. It's gonna be good here. More gold. Have to build more anyways, right? Uh ballista, let's go for ballistas. These guys are wasting their things for some reason. I think we lose here to be honest. Yep, GG. It was a pretty good game either way. We tried our best. I'm still pretty new at this game, so if you guys have any tips and um, tricks, let me know in the comments how I should have played that better. Maybe used a bit more gold. Uh, I know I did a lot of mistakes, so just let me know in the comments. I'll uh, try my best to do another game for you guys of this castle fight. So thank you for the request. And uh, apart from that, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more. And I'll be talking to you guys in the next video. Take care and peace. Yes.